بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين On behalf of Understand Quran Academy Hyderabad I would like to welcome you to 33rd session in which we will study the two, two verses after Ayat Al-Kursi As usual we start with Hadith Abu Huraira an reported the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he who has done a wrong affecting his brother's brother's honor or anything else let him ask his forgiveness today before the time that is the yawm al qiyamah the day of resurrection when he will have neither a dinar nor a dirham if he has done some good deeds a portion equal to his wrongdoings will be subtracted for them from them if he has done good done done some good deeds a portion equal to his wrong deeds will be subtracted from them and but if he has no good deeds he will be burdened with the evil deeds of the one he had wronged in the same proportion so basically he will have to pay from his virtues or if he has no virtues he will have to burden bear the burden of his evils so let him settle as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the things you know ask his forgiveness and clear everything today <coughs> we come to spoken arabic in the last class we practiced lazim alayya lazim adhab lazim means have to compulsory lazim means compulsory alayya on me an that adhab i go compulsory on me that i go lazim alayya an adhab that is you know to say slang or simple short Lazi madhab, I have to go. Compulsory, I go. And today we will uh, say, okay, why don't you take, have tea, coffee, ishrab, shai, kahwa. Ishrab means drink. Ishrab is drink. Ishrab, ifal. Shai is tea. You know, and kahwa is coffee. Ishrab, shai, or kahwa. All right, we come to grammar. In grammar, let me put things in perspective um, okay in grammar remember we started with uh, mazid fi those um, triliteral verbs with extra letters we said you know we started with fa'ala is the basic one and fa'ala is the second one that we practiced okay and fa'ala is the third one so we will start with fa'ala, just a brief repetition. Fa'ala fa'alu, fa'alta fa'altum, fa'altu fa'alna, yufa'ilu yufa'iluna, tufa'ilu tufa'iluna, ufa'ilu nufa'ilu, fa'il fa'ilu, la tufa'il la tufa'ilu. Mufa'il, Mufa'al, Taf'il On this pattern we did one verb which is Sabbaha Okay, glorified Sabbaha, Sabbahu Sabbahta, Sabbahtum Sabbahtu, Sabbahna Yusabbihu, Yusabbihuna Tusabbihu, Tusabbihuna Usabbihu, Nusabbihu Sabbih, Sabbihu La Tusabbih, La Tusabbihu Musabbih, Musabbah, Tasbih You see, uh, these verbs, when they, some extra letters are added, different shades of the meanings are created. And uh, the next, you know, basic is Fa'ala. And we start counting Mazid Fi from number 2. We call it number 2 up to 10. So second Bab was Fa'ala. And the third Bab is Fa'ala. Okay, with an Alif instead of Tashdeed. Alif. Okay. And we represent, we call them those Babs with respect to these, you know, Master. So this was Bab Taf'il. And the third one will be Fa'il Mufa'al Mufa'ala. Bab Mufa'ala. Let us practice that. Fa'ala fa'alu. Fa'alta fa'altum. Fa'altu fa'alna. Yufa'ilu yufa'iluna. Tufa'ilu tufa'iluna. Ufa'ilu nufa'ilu. Fa'il fa'ilu. La tufa'il la tufa'ilu. 
مفاعل 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 and the example that we did on this pattern was jahada jahada means struggled okay jahada jahadu jahatta jahattum jahattu jahadna okay to struggle or to strive it is not just you know people have wrongly taken it as to kill or it means to struggle to strive whatever one can to spend all the efforts in certain thing so jahidu fi sabilillah means strive in the path of allah yujahidu yujahiduna jahidu yujahiduna tujahidu tujahiduna tujahidu tujahiduna ujahidu nujahidu jahid jahidu jahidu la tujahid la tujahidu la tujahid la tujahidu mujahid mujahad mujahada and if time comes you know a person has to if has to defend himself or fight in the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is also part of jahada but in principle jahada means to strive to do whatever one can in the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay and uh, on this pattern we did nada in the last class okay nada nadau and called out nada means he called out nadaita nadaitum nadaitu nadaina yunadi yunaduna tunadi tunaduna unadi nunadi nadi nadu la tunadi la tunadu munadin munada munada okay Okay, again, nada nada. This has come in Quran forty-four times. Okay, this is very important. Nada nadau. Nada nadau. Nadaita nadaitum. Nadaitu nadaina. Yunadi yunaduna. Tunadi tunaduna. Unadi nunadi. Nadi nadu. La tunadi la tunadu. Munadin munada munada right now we come to uh, the revision of last class in which we studied ayat al kursi okay allah la ilaha illa huwa al a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem allah la ilaha illa huwa allah there is no god except him that's very simple al hayyu al qayyum al hayyu the ever living al qayyum the sustainer okay sustainer and protector the ever living hayy is from hayat okay the ever living and the sustainer the ever living the sustainer la ta'khudhuhu sinatun wa la nawm la not la ta'khudhu does not overtake who him la ta'khudhuhu does not overtake him what sinatun sinatun is slumber okay wala nawm and nor sleep slumber or sleep does not overtake him he is always awake fully awake lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard lahu to him belongs or for him ma whatever or what or that which fi in as samawat the heavens wa ma fi al ard wa and ma that which or whatever fi al ard is in the earth to him belongs belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth man the ladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi idhni man who the ladhi is he that yashfa'u can intercede indahu with him illa except bi idhnihi with his permission idhnihi his permission bi idhnihi with his permission Who is he that can intercede with him except with his permission? Ya'lamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum. Ya'lamu he knows ma that which bayna aydihim within their own hands that is in front of them. Wa ma khalfahum and what is behind them. He knows that which is within their own hands and that which is behind them. ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه الا بما شاء ولا يحيطون and they will never encompass 
they will never encircle, never encompass, be shy in anything. Okay, min ilmi of min is of ilmihi his knowledge. They will never encompass anything of his knowledge, illa except bima sha bima that which sha'a he wills except that which he wills so whatever discoveries are there it is only by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's you know grace and information wasi'a kursiyuhu samawati wal ard wasi'a means uh, it is yes wide and covering so here the word is encompasses okay kursiyuhu his chair his chair encompasses as samawati wal ard the heavens and the earth wala yauduhu hifdhuhuma wala yauduhu and not make him feel fatigue that is how it is and wala also you know the roughly he feels no fatigue but and does not make him feel fatigue or make him feel tired or does not make him tired what hifdhuhuma guarding of the two huma is two huwa hum huwa huma hum okay huma is both of them the heavens and the earth the heavens and the earth the guarding or the gu- uh, preserving and guarding of these heavens and the earth does not make him tired okay he feels no fatigue in preserving or guarding both of them wa huwa al ali al azim wa and huwa he al ali the most high al azim the supreme there are 10 as we have said earlier there are 10 things in ayat al kursi allah la ilaha illahu al hayyu al qayyum la ta'khudhuhu sinatu wa la nawm lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard man dha alladhi yashfa'u 'indahu illa bi idnihi ya'lamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum wa la yuhitun bi shay'in min 'ilmihi illa bima sha wasi'a kursiyyuhu as samawati wal ard wa la ya'uduhu hifdhuhuma wa huwa al aliyyu al azim so each one has a you know deep and uh, strong message and we should you know ponder this every time we recite this and remember the hadith the message of which is that every anyone who recites ayat al-kursi after every fard prayer then the only thing that between jannah and him is deaths so never miss let us inshallah try to practice this every time we pray fard salah after every salah now we come to the new part of this lesson in which we will study the two verses after ayat al-kursi a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim la ikraha fi al-deen la no ikrah compulsion there is no compulsion fi al-deen in the religion there is no compulsion in the religion that means you, there is no forcing of uh, making people converted to Islam by force. No. Because this is a matter of faith and nobody can force to change the faith. It is deep inside the heart. Practice. La ikra fiddin. La. No. Ikra. Compulsion. Fi in din religion. La ikra fiddin. There is no compulsion in the religion. Qad surely this is added for emphasis. So qad surely tabayyana became clear. Okay, arushdu the right or the right course min from al the error. The right course surely the right course has become clear from the error. Qad tabayyana arushdu min al قد شوري تبين بكم كلير الرجل درايت كور من فرام الغي بيرا شوري بكم كلير درايت كور فرام بيرا فمن يكفر بالطاعوت ويؤمن بالله ف so so thus من whoever يكفر disbelieves بالطاعوت in طاعوت these false objects of worship or those who lead people to misguidance and so on. وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ And believes in Allah. So whoever disbelieves in Taghut and believes in Allah. Practice. 
Okay, and Allah SWT continues. فَقَدْ إِسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْوُثْقَى فَذَنْ قَدْ Surely, إِسْتَمْسَكَ He has grasped. إِسْتَمْسَكَ He has grasped. What? بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْوُثْقَى Al-Urwa means handhold. Al-Wuthqa, the most trustworthy. Then surely he has grasped the most trustworthy handhold. Orwatil Uspa Fakad, then surely Astamsak Istamsaka Istamsaka, he has grabbed Bil Urwa, the handhold Al Uspa, the most trustworthy. Then surely he has grabbed the handhold, the most trustworthy. Yeah, the most trustworthy handhold. La Fisa Malaha La no. Anfinfasam break or crack. In laha in it. Al Urwa Urwa is feminine Urwa tun. So laha is is referring to Urwa. There is no break in it. Practice. Lanfisam laha. Lanfisam laha. Right. Wallahu Sami'un Alim Wallah and Allah Sami' is all hearing Alim all knowing Allah is all hearing all knowing Wallahu Sami'un Alim Wa and Allah Allah as Sami' Alim all knowing and Allah is all hearing all knowing الله ولي الذين آمنوا يخرجهم من الظلمات إلى النور الله الله ولي protecting guardian الذين of those who آمنوا believed الله is the protecting guardian of those who believed ولي الذين Allah is the protecting guardian Allah is the protecting guardian of those who believe Allah is the protecting guardian of those who believe He brings them out from the darkness into the light Yukhriju is from Akhraja Yukhriju Akhraja he brought out and Yukhriju he brings them out he brings them out from the darknesses into the light. Yukhrijuhum Not yukhrijuhum. Okay. Min of azulumat the darkness. Darknesses. Okay. The darknesses. Azulumat. Azulumat the darknesses. Ila into annur the light. He brings them out. Of the darknesses into the light. Yeah, zulmat is plural and zulmatun is singular. Zulmatun is darkness. Zulmat darknesses and zulm is something else. Zulm is wrong. Okay, oppression or wrong. Okay. والذين كفروا أولياؤهم الطاغوت والذين and those who كفروا disbelieved أولياؤهم their guardians. This is the plural of wali is awliya. Whom? Their guardians. At-taghut or the taghut. Those who mislead people or false objects of worship. So, though, and those who be disbelieved, their guardians are the taghut. Wal-lazina kafaru wa awliya'ahum at-taghut. Wal-lazina and those who kafaru disbelieved. Wa awliya'ahum. 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 The guardian. At-taghut. At-taghut. يُخْرِجُونَهُمْ مِنَ النُّورِ إِلَى الظُّلُمَاتِ يُخْرِجُونَ 
they bring them out you see yukhriju singular yukhrijuna plural they bring them out whom them those who follow them minan nur from the light ila zulumat into the darknesses they bring them out of the light into the darknesses yukhrijuna hum minan nur ila zulumat yukhrijuna hum they bring them out min of annur the light ila into of zuluma darkness they bring them out out of the light into the darknesses أولئك أصحاب النار هم فيها خالدون أولئك those أصحاب the companions النار the fire those are the companions of the fire هم they فيها in it who is ha here ha who is ha referring to فيها in it that is نار نار is feminine okay مونس Khalidun, those who will live forever. You see, Khalida lived forever. Khalid, the one who lives forever. Khalidun is plural. Khalidun, Khalidin. They will live in it forever or they will abide in it forever. Okay, let's come to the new words in this what we studied today. Ikra, ikra is compulsion. Okay, la ikra fi din is often quoted, uh, oft quoted, uh, you know, saying that there is no compulsion in Islam in religion. And tabayyana is to become clear. Okay, tabayyana became clear. Rush the right course. Ghay the error. Okay, four words. فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاغُوتِ Taghut is the false objects of worship or those who lead people astray. وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقْئِ اسْتَمْسَكَ He has grasped. اسْتَمْسَكَ عُرْوَةِ الْوُثْقَ New words. Trustworthy hand hold. But if you remember the context, it is easy. Whoever disbelieves in Taghut and believes in Allah, what has he done? He has grasped a firm hand hold, a very strong support or very strong, you know, Handhold. Lan fi samalaha. There is no break in it. Of course, whoever you know believes in Allah, you can say in fi sam something has to be negative, break or crack. Wallahu samiyun alim. Of course, you know Allah wali yuladin amun yukhriju. We have practiced it. Yukhriju. He brings them out. Yukhriju na zulmatun zulmat. Darkness, darknesses, and that's it. The rest of the words are well known to us. Or khalidun. Those who live in it forever. I ask, uh, so, so please keep the vocabulary sheet because it is very, very important and keep referring to it at different times of the day. It will make the course very, very easy. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us understand and practice Quran. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.